Day three with car chasing Mushu. It's a car. She's eating wet food out of a squeeze tube as it passes. We're counter conditioning for the car. At a safe enough distance back from it that she can uh, take food and think clearly. This is her first time having this wet food and she really liked it. There were lots of added distractions today. There was a, her kitty, Claude, was outside running around. And uh, every time we would try to work on anything, the kitty would come running out like, I'm just out of reach and you cannot catch me. I know you want to. <laughs> so, <laughs> really complicated the day. A little bit of like pulling. She she does reach this point where she's like, and I'm on a walk. And, I, and she starts to pull really hard. Oop. It's a bit more leash tension and, and uh, um, tension on the harness than I, than I like. And she's so well practiced at putting tension on the harness and just bearing down hard when she feels pressure. It's going to be a hard habit to break. See another car coming down the street, so she spots it. I immediately start counter conditioning until the car is out of sight. I suspect her primary issues are with the sounds or with the louder cars because in the backyard she's listening for them and she alerts when she hears them. Uh, but the sight of them is less compelling to her. But I haven't seen her with like a loud car yet and I think that's when I'll start to see some real interest in, in pulling and chasing. For right now we're just working on kind of following the leash teaching her heel pressure to kind of hang, or um, teaching her uh, heel position to kind of hang back a bit by treating at the heel of my foot, just in the driveway. We've been working on this in the backyard for, you know, the first two days, and then we're just trying to kind of up the ante a little bit and bring it out to where she can see cars and we're almost on a walk. I'm having to point the food out a lot because her, you know, little bird dog is having a hard time Focusing on me, you know? Well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Get her. But the wet food really made an impression today, so that's good info. And she liked the ha Happy Howies over the uh, Zooks. See, she just kind of... Oh. Gets to the end. Very good. So I a little bit pulled back and she turned towards me, which is, is, is an improvement for her. Very nice. Oh, I'm walking. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Let's go for it a little bit. Oh, she's like, oh, yay. As soon as she starts to pull out of position, I change direction. Um, and, and kind of encourage her to come away because I don't want her pulling ahead. And if she starts to speed up, like, and we're walking now, I'm going to turn around to help reorient her back to me and to kind of reiterate that the point of this is that you are walking with me and not by yourself. <laughs> this is all out of, uh, out of frame here. We're doing the same exercise, the treating at the heel as we walk down the street. Sorry for about that. There we go though. But look at that nice little walking. little unraveling and she's like oh all right bye I'm gonna go run over there to the busy street we see another car the counter conditioning again she's like I like that <laughs> look at that enthusiasm and interest <laughs> uh, very cute Same thing, she starts to kind of pull in the opposite direction, so I kind of move wherever away from the uh, where she's applying pressure. She was surprisingly more responsive to leash pressure today than she, ha she has been. She, she figured it out quicker. Her latency in like looking at me was about one to two seconds, which is really pretty good considering. So here I was uh, bending over to treat her 
and that was causing her to kind of stop instead of coming closer to me, so I stopped and started standing up straight and rewarding her for being closer to me.